me everything I had to give all that I could. Walk beside me while I sleep, steer me from. Well, hello everyone. Tis I, Ella Detainment, with a pipe in my hand and a fancy looking jacket, meaning it must be me trying to sound smarter than I actually am. In other words, this must be one of those analysis videos. Now, some of you are familiar with the likes of The Honest Reviewer, Round Wars, Youngblood Fantasy, and a few others may remember from a few months back a not so popular website, The Net Dwellers, which takes on a similar light to the That Girl with the Glasses website, except with less popularity and during a certain period of time, a lot more negative criticism given towards it. One of the members of the site went by the name of XXX the Black Knight XXX. During a time when the whole drama thing had passed and everyone was trying to calm down, the Black Knight was still going that the commentary community was all wrong and the fanfic critic is always right because she is our lord of saviour of the netwise and we should always listen to her. This resulted in a bit of a feud and then him getting banned from the site. Enraged by all this, he went over to his fanfiction.net account and wrote some very interesting fictions involving the fanfic critic and some YouTubers and this was feeling very awkward. Kitties! Look at all the little kitties! I get different kitties in my video! Aren't you all happy? One of the fanfictions he wrote, however, was taken down. Either it was reported, he got a lot of the negative feedback, or he realised it was stupid and decided to take it down himself. But then in October of this year, he posted it back up with a minor change, however, and that is that the fanfic critic is saved. She's still raped, though. In the author's notes, he said that he reposted this for quote-unquote laughs, and he knew that the fanfic itself wasn't funny, but it still satisfies him whenever he reads it. How it satisfies him, I don't know, and I don't really want to. Now, of course, the fanfiction got a lot of negative reviews, but the Black Knight decided to make a second chapter to the fanfic actually addressing these reviews and tried to basically justify his fiction. And because I'm your regular arsehole and I know that the honest reviews will not stop bitching at me until I do it, I've decided to do an analysis video on his responses to the reviews. I mean, both me and him are story writers, so, you know. Before I go into the responses though, let me first analyse the fanfiction that he wrote. Rape is a very touchy subject to write about considering that rape is considered one of the worst things to ever happen to anyone. Time to write about rape is kind of like carrying a giant glass statue through a funhouse. Now that doesn't mean that rape is officially off limits. You can still have a rape into a story, but it will need to have a purpose in it and it will also need to be pretty justified. So how does the Black Knight define rape in his story? Well, it goes like this. The fanfic critic is captured. The Black Knight is saying that he wants to rape her. He rapes her. Susan comes in, beats up the Black Buster critic. And basically, that's it. It's a happy ending. Now, let's take out the characters and see what's the problem with the scenario. It's not really realistic at all. She's raped, but there's no backlash. There's no scenario in which she's traumatized. In fact, she's actually more traumatized what Susan did to the Black Buster critic. And it doesn't really matter if she's saved mid-rape scene. She still had a penis inside her, so there is going to be a bit of traumatism if you think about it. Of course you can argue this is a fictional work, and so this doesn't really happen. But here's my argument. You're putting in a real life scenario, so we want it to be believable. If it doesn't feel realistic, even if it is a fiction, then we as the reader will not actually believe in the story. And in that case, you've written a really bad story. Though this is just one problem with the story, he has got a lot of negative criticism. One response that he usually brings up is that the fanfiction critic is just a character. Yes, the fanfiction critic is a character. But what about the Black Buster critic? What about the honest reviewers? What about Youngblood Fantasy? Yes, he's even in the story. They don't portray characters in their videos, they portray themselves. But yet, in this fiction, you're portraying the Black Buster critic as a rapist. How do you justify that? And you can't use that it's a fiction as an excuse, because you're actually portraying someone who's actually existing as something they may not be. And if it turns out that the Blackbuster critic is actually a rapist, then my god, you're actually the smartest person I've ever met in my life. And in one more response, he says that you could say that he has a crush on the fanfic critic. Yeah, that's a good way to show that you like someone, by having them raped. And I'm sure there are so many things wrong with this fanfic that I could bring up, but quite frankly, I want to end the video. One thing that was brought to my attention is someone asked me if this person was a troll. Honestly, he may be, he may be not. If he is a troll, kudos to him for fooling everyone, 
but he could just be one big massive fanfic critic fanboy who likes to write fictions of the fanfic critic being spanked. There actually is one that he did wrote, you could go look at it now. So, there you go, that's my video. You could like, you could dislike, you could ban me from the server. Quite frankly, I don't really care, because all I care about is making videos. And writing stories. With bondage and bore. I should shut up now.